Okay, so this is something unusual for me. Um, normally I do subscription boxes. My name is Subscription Box Mom after all. However, I am a big American Girl fan. Now I haven't been collecting, you know, since I was a kid. I had Molly and Samantha um, when I was a kid, starting in the 80s. And when I found out they were releasing an 80s doll, apparently now I'm vintage, and I had to have it. And I bought the entire collection. I don't really know what in over me, but I love it and it makes me happy. So I decided to share it with you all. So if you just want to watch subscription boxes and not watch this, that's cool. Just go watch some others. There's probably a new one up today. Um, however, if you're curious, if um, you are maybe in your 40s and loved American Girl when you were a kid, stick around and let's check out this collection. So I literally bought every single thing. So I'm going to unbox it all. It may be in one video, it may be in two because there's a lot of stuff and my husband edits the videos and it might take him a while. So I'm just going to um, stop here for a second. I'm going to clear all of this off. This is everything minus the bed. The bed is in a giant box which I will show a little bit later when I get to it. Um, but this is every single thing in her collection. All the clothes, all the accessories, everything. So here's just a look and then I'm just going to take everything away and bring the doll back in closer focus. Okay, so I'm gonna take her out of her box. I remember when I was a kid, they came in the maroon boxes and had a white ribbon. And they haven't really changed much in price. Now granted the Mattel bought them over, so I'm expecting, I've never actually held one of the new Mattel owned American Girl dolls. Um, but I, when I was a kid, to open up the present on Christmas morning and see that maroon box, like when you tear open that paper, was such a joy. It's one of my favorite moments when I was a kid, one of my favorite presents is opening up and seeing that doll because it was $100 in the 80s, which was really expensive. Um, they're expensive now. They were really expensive back then and it was such a joy. So I'm like back to my childhood. All right, on top we have her book. Courtney changes the game. She's a gamer. She has an older sister, I think. I'm totally reading the book too. All right. Here she is. I gotta figure out how is she in here? Okay, there's little bands. I'm gonna take little scissors and cut those so she can get out of here. Okay. I think. She has been released. Now, what are you holding on to? There we go. There she is, and I'm going to take her hair down ever so carefully. All right, here she is. This is Courtney Moore, and she has this cute little denim skirt, a little tank top here with a purple, I think it's a tank. Let's see. I think it's just a longer purple shirt underneath. The bottom has some fuchsia tights and these cute little faux leather boots. And her hair is a pretty blonde, blondish brown color with little ringlets. And I've heard a lot of people comparing her to Mary Ellen. And like I said, I haven't bought an American Girl doll. Well, I've never actually bought an American Girl doll. Um, I've never actually bought one. So this is my first American doll I've ever actually paid for with my own money. And uh, she's super cute. I like her. She does have pierced ears. I paid to have her ears pierced because she has earrings she can wear. And I had earrings when um, I was young. About the age that I started having... Um, my American Girl dolls and then the box came with these like extra little hoops and earrings and things for your dolls so she's so cute and I thought she would feel a lot different than my other one but she really doesn't I'll have to like get my Samantha and Molly and, and compare side by side okay I need to open these accessories okay so the first thing I'm opening is the little lunch set. This was probably the one I was most excited to check out. Oh 
my goodness. How cute is this? How cute is this? Oh my gosh. So here's her little information card. She's in third grade. And there's more information. So I'll have to read that later. Okay. Lay them down so they're easier to see. How cute is this? Okay, first up we have the lunchbox. And I had a plastic lunchbox. Mine was actually Care Bears. It was blue and it had Care Bears on it. But I did play Pac-Man because I had an Atari. I hope they come out with an Atari for her. I don't remember when the first Nintendo came out. I think it was also the 80s. So, I mean, they could go either way. So, you take, you unscrew this top part. And then here's the actual thermos. Like, it looks just like it did. I don't know if this opens. I don't think that opens. So, we put our thermos in here. There is a can of cheese puffs. They're actually cheese balls. I mean, you know, that's what they're modeled after. Look how cute! Oh my gosh! That's awesome. Although in real life you wouldn't actually have a whole can of cheese balls in your lunchbox because they wouldn't fit because they were bigger. But that's me being picky. But maybe you know like you take them out. You can take them out and like she would have them in her back her lunchbox or something in a bag. We have three apples. and peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then we have like a little Le little debbie snack cake i'm trying to see it's not little debbie because they don't have that branding like a little brownie frosted brownies it's actually in a package so like it's designed to stay in the package i mean you could take it out but it's specially packaged to look like the real thing i don't know if you can fit everything in here Well, that's the only issue here. I have to take her thermos out. You know, so it doesn't all fit. I should have scaled that better. You could put her sandwich in there. There we go. I mean, it's still really, really cute. However, it'd be nice if it all fit in there. Like Samantha's lunch all fits in her tin. Next up, I am going to the caboodle and hair accessory set. All right, this is a true story. Until about two years ago, when my husband said it was time to let it go, I still had my original caboodle that I got way back. It might have been the 80s when I got my caboodle, not the, or the 90s rather than not the 80s. Um, but I still had my original caboodle. The watch didn't work, but cute. So we have a hair bow, two scrunchies. Here is the caboodle. Here's her little information. Okay. What is this digi now? I'm curious. Caboodles made its first case in 1987 after seeing a famous model use a fishing tackle box to organize her makeup. For Christmas, Courtney and Tina each get a caboodle so they can keep their hair and hair scrunchies separate. I just had a younger brother, so I didn't have such problems. So we have some nail stickers. I think there's something else in here. So here we go. We have li three little nail stickers. Um, and you could actually put them on her nails. I'm probably not because I'm more of a collector type person. Although I do still dress and play with my dolls. But I could see them being rather difficult to apply to their teeny tiny nails. And the nail stickers. These slide open. And we have a banana clip. Which were very popular, but one of the hardest accessories to keep in your hair. I had very 
still do, very thick hair. And so it was really hard to get all my hair in one of these little banana clips. We have some hairspray. Of course it was aerosol. We did not care about the environment then. There we go. And the more the merrier. I mean, you know, you like sprayed your hair up so it could withstand hurricane winds. Nothing was going to disturb it. All right, we have a little makeup set. And we have a pick. Here we go. Very crucial if you're gonna tease your hair. Then all of this can fit right back inside your little caboodle. Now our hair accessory, I mean, can you? Maybe. We'll see. Gonna have to really scrunch them in there. Okay, that, that's not happening. Maybe one, maybe. No, nope, that's not happening. Okay, so cute, but you need somewhere to hold your hair accessories, which ironically is what Courtney got the caboodle for, is to organize her hair accessories, but her hair accessories, hair accessories don't fit in the caboodle. These are probably mom thoughts, like an eight or nine year old girl probably isn't gonna care. But as a mom, should fit. Oh, and I forgot her little nail stickers. These need to go back in her caboodle. There we go. Let's move on to shoes. So I'm gonna cut these little stickers. I have to go with the high tops first because that is what I wore most. Oh my goodness. Aren't these the cutest things? Look at them! They're like the real thing. Oh, they're so cool. So you can kind of adjust around the ankle. These I'm sure untie, but I'm not the best with bows, so we're just gonna leave those tied. I'm sure you can get your, the doll's feet in and out of those, but how cute. Love those. And then we have her, what are these called, slippers? Her flats. And her socks. Here's her little flats. The bottom. And here are her little socks. Adorable. Next up, we're gonna do the sleepover accessory set. First up. I think they're supposed to be like little holders that they go around the wrist, maybe? I saw that in the picture. Maybe they're in here still. Okay. So let's see what all is in this. First up, we have the little cootie catcher. I don't know if these actually had a name. You just like fold them in and then you like put your fingers like that and then find out who you're gonna marry or that kind of thing. Really cute. That tells you how to fold them. Those are the cassette um, tape holders, the cases. These are the little cassettes and they're all labeled Courtney's Mix, you know, and they're different numbers, like three, four, two, three, four, and five. Is there one in there? And then they each have a little case that you can put them in. And there are songs on the cassette, um, the cases, 
When You Turn It Up by Barry Starr, Dance the Night Away by G Hero. Okay, so I put three of them in their cases, and then I'll show you this. Then we can check out We have a little doodle notebook with oh, lots of little doodles and things that she has done. Then we have a pen for her doodle notebook. Now I'm most excited about this. So look at the boom box. So we have an AM, FM, FM uh, radio here, the play stop, um, and maybe fast forward the, the tape, the sound, off tape radio, equalizer. This does take three um, double A's I believe. Not included. There's a little panel here so I'm gonna go put batteries in I'll be right back all right the batteries are in they take AAA not to double A um, there is an antenna here because if you're gonna listen to a radio in the 80s you needed your antenna so you can go all the way to radio and then use the tuner <laughs> Or you can go to tape. I went ahead and put the tape in, but you press this, open, and you just slip your tape right in there. Close it. Press the play button. That's really cool. That's neat. I think that's my favorite accessory so far. So you got the boom box, the tortilla chips, the notebook, the, the pen, the little cootie catcher. Um, then four different tapes. And a soda can. I guess the accessory holder things are probably something sold separately. That's something new. They never had those whenever I was little, so that's all new. All right, I'm going to have this one be my last one for this video, and then I'm going to have a part two that will include all the other accessories, the clothes, and the bed. Okay, so let's check out this Walkman first. Or easier if you pull that way. This one doesn't make noise. Um, like the boombox. Alright, that's all slightly difficult to put together, but there we go. That's the Walkman. And then she can put this around her hand. There are three bracelets. And I have a little textured look there. You can see. Then they open just slightly to put around her wrist. We have a marine for Mayor. Assuming that's her mom. We have a little lip smacker on a necklace. These were great. Uh, my favorite was the bubble gum. They don't make it anymore, I don't think. Um, you can move the little cap. This is adjustable. I didn't take this out. And this is cassette uh, one. These are her actual accessories, the ones that like come, that you can get, you know, with the doll when you first get the doll. Those are her core accessories. Let's try to put one of her bracelets on her. Okay, so here she is with her accessories. Um, she has her lip smacker on, her mom's little mare button. She has two bracelets on. 
her little Walkman is in her hand with the cassette tape in and she's listening to some music. So I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna pause and end this video here. Um, stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna put them up hopefully at the same time. Um, and I'll have the Molly doll and all of her other accessories that I haven't unboxed along with the sleeping bag, the bed, and the clothes. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.